Deep within some of the world's most sophisticated machinery, bunches of tiny particles accelerate toward each other at nearly the speed of light. Millions of times per second, they collide, creating firework-like displays of new particles within the highly complex detectors that stand watch. By tracing these particles' tracks, physicists have uncovered new clues about the building blocks of matter, including the quarks and gluons that make up most visible matter in the universe, and the Higgs boson that gives fundamental particles their mass. But to gain access to those mysteries and future discoveries, scientists need powerful computing resources to process the data and unlock the physics within. Computing in the context of data analysis at uh, large high energy and nuclear physics experiments has been always viewed by me as becoming part of the detector itself. And the Rick and Atlas computing facility is exactly that. Even during the initial stages of Rick construction, back in the early 90s, people were already worrying about what the computing needs of the facility were going to be. You had these state-of-the-art detectors that would soon be coming online, and the expected data volume from heavy ion collisions was going to be unprecedented. It was clear that the model of having physicists lugging their workstation down to the beam line to take their data was just not going to cut it. So the four experiments that were starting up at the time, Brahms, Phoenix, Phobos, and Star, decided to pool their resources to create one centralized computing facility. For nearly 20 years, the Rick and Atlas Computing Facility, or RACF, at the U.S. Department of Energy's Brookhaven National Laboratory has been storing, sharing, and sifting through data from particle collisions. At least based in part on the computing expertise and the infrastructure that had been developed here for RIC, BNL was awarded what was known as the U.S. Tier 1 facility for the Atlas experiment that was going to be starting up at the LHC. But the RACF is far more than tens of thousands of hard drives, it is linked to Atlas collaborators around the world via high-speed, 100 gigabit per second, transatlantic cables built by the Department of Energy's Energy Sciences Network, or ESNet. The RACF is now at the center of a global computing network. Brookhaven is one of the 10 Tier 1 centers in the world serving Atlas's computing needs. It allows us to simulate events, it allows us to reprocess data, and most importantly, it allows users to analyze their jobs, to analyze the data, to get to the physics. It is because of them that we are able to take leadership role in physics analysis at the LHC. By mid-2015, RACF housed 50,000 processor cores and boasted an online data storage capacity of 50 petabytes, equivalent to roughly 100,000 years of MP3 encoded music. It's not easy, it's not a trivial process to just say, oh yes, yeah, storage is just a bunch of hard drives that we put together and we stuff the data on it. Well, this is not what, of course, a facility is all about. I mean, know, knowing about mass storage, about distributed file system, about uh, a tape archive and the combination and the interplay of all of those different components is something which is uh, uh, really complex. And this is where the facility personnel play a key role, is really to make all of this intricate workflow work as smoothly as possible. Just last year alone, the two experiments running at RIC, STAR and PHOENIX, generated over 10 petabytes of raw data. And we will have to sort it out together and see and find a reasonable way to still have the fast turnaround time. You don't want to wait for two weeks for your analysis to go through. The data volumes are going to grow. Right now we are planning an upgrade of our experiment and we are expecting an increase of a factor of 10 or maybe even 100 of the data we are taking. They listen to what our needs are, and then they basically tell us what's technologically possible, and then we have to find a way how to integrate these two. As part of Brookhaven's Computational Sciences Initiative, 
The RACF is poised to help researchers at the lab's Center for Functional Nanomaterials, the National Synchrotron Light Source 2, and other facilities handle their ever-expanding data needs. We're always planning for the next big thing, the next technology that we're going to use. By looking ever forward, we're very confident that we'll be able to handle the data coming into the facility for the next 10, 20 years.